Hello. In this video, we will learn how to configure a connector to collect data from Dynatrace by using BMC Helix Intelligent Integrations APIs. Before configuring the connector, generate an API token with appropriate scopes to access the Dynatrace V1 and V2 APIs. To configure the connection, click plus on the Sources panel. Select Dynatrace Manages slash SAS. Enter the Dynatrace host name. Enter a token ID that has permissions to access the Dynatrace API. Enter the Dynatrace environment ID if you have multiple environments. We will retain the default values of the remaining parameters. Click Validate and Create. Next you will see the instance name and the source connection list. The destination connection and data types to be collected are already selected. Let's configure the event collection parameters. Collection schedule indicates the frequency. Data collection window indicates the historical time period from the current time. Data latency indicates the time to shift the data collection window back on the timeline. Let's say we want to collect all the application alerts that have custom severity and are still open. Ensure that the use v2 API checkbox is selected. For collecting metrics, configure the metric collection parameters. Various filters such as metric categories, tags, and v2 metrics help you limit the scope of metric data. For example, let's see how to collect data for a host that has the true host tag associated with it. Delete all the categories from the metrics categories filter. Delete the all options selected for other entities. Then, select the true host tag from the host tags filter. The hosts field now shows only the tagged hosts. Select the required host. Note that the tags fields help you only filter the entities such as applications and hosts for which you want to collect metrics. Then select the V2 metrics. For example, host.cpu.load. Finally, to collect topology data for a host from Dynatrace, we will retain application, host, process group instance, and service, and delete all other entities. Click Create Collectors. Now, we'll look at the distribution parameters. These parameters indicate various settings related to the distribution of the collected data to the BMC Helix applications. If needed, we can exclude the unnecessary event attributes. Click Create Distributors. Click Save Stream to save the configuration and start streams for the data collection later. On the Sources panel, the connector instance appears. Now that you know how to configure the connector, watch Part 2 to learn how to view collected data across BMC Helix applications. For more information, click the online documentation link provided in the video description. Thanks for watching.